So we've asked you to come and talk to us this morning, uh, really about how the country moves forward when there are so many calculations that are being made by leaders, not in the interests of the country, but in the interests of jostling for power within the governing party. Yes, uh, Bongani, um, I just have to say what happened on Tuesday in Bramford 10 is a watershed moment in our country's post-economic, post-apartheid economy. It is the first um, death that we've seen through public protest against the austerity programs of the government. So basically what happened is that the finance minister and um, the Department of Higher Education thought they would get away with cutting 6.8 billion rands from the allocation to the um, National Student Financial Aid Fund, and at the same time, um, cutting 8 billion rands from subsidies to higher education institutions. So many economists now are brushing up their knowledge of the Constitution, and um, we've been having meetings with lawyers to find a way in which we can um, make a constitutional challenge towards this um, budget. Um, the Constitution says everybody has a section 20, the Bill of Rights, says everybody has a right to further education, which the state, through reasonable measures, must make progressively available and accessible. You remember in July 2020, the Constitutional Court also ordered the Department of Basic Education to provide school nutrition. So they are, these are basic rights that are guaranteed under our Constitution. So I, I just think it's a sad day in South Africa that we had our Hector Peterson moment um, in 20. 2021. Um, so I think, I think um, Togo will go down as a per- person who, you know, he, he, I don't know, it's just, I, I think a lot of pe- people are triggered about this thing. This is a post apartheid. We don't need another Marikana in 2021. Current events, developing stories, tough questions, your voice making a difference. This is Breakfast with Bongani Bingwa.